season three i hope you all enjoyed your summer and ready to get into some great topics this season with me we're going to talk about everything from uh cognitive processes of the brain all the way to marital and sexual issues all while giving god all the praises and all the glory like we always do um some great topics so this season so make sure you guys stay tuned that you're in tune, liking the pages, keeping up because things are going to change really fast. Um, so today, real quick, I just want to share uh, my experience with you on going back to school. Woo, woo, woo. And I see a lot of you are also going back to school, moving up in your job, deciding to have babies and having grandbabies and all that stuff. It is wonderful. It's wonderful stuff, right? So we know when we make a decision to climb and progress that the adversary is on the way, right? The enemy is coming to kill, steal, and destroy all the joy and all the hope and all the wishes and thoughts that you had of progressing in whatever it is that you want to do. When adversary stares you in the face, what do you do? You have to know what you know, what you know, what you know, without a doubt what you know, stand and stand fast, right? It's hard to do when it comes though, yeah, okay? But do not take it, do not take it back. Keep the faith, give it to God, he's going to fix it all. I had a lot. Let me tell you, I can't even begin. It was almost, I, it was so irritating that it all was coming at once till I almost, I just had to laugh, honestly, because I said, really? I still got a desktop, y'all. My desktop has worked for years. Wonderful, right? And all of a sudden, when I decided to go back to school, it has flatlined. Ooh, like just flatlined. Where? Where did that come from? That's because I decided to go back to school, right? So, Desktop is not working, so I'm on the phone with HP, and then I'm trying to get a refund from HP because it didn't work, and I'm trying to get uh, the Geek Squad and everybody, and they were like, um, estimates and this and that, and that ticket was going up and up and up. Okay, all while, uh, once the transcripts and everything reached the school here, um, now I'm limited, all classes, because classes are starting like next week, right? And I don't really have a lot of options to pick from. So I go and I see the advisor and he's like, hey, you know, I got in two. I needed four. I wanted to be full time. So I needed four classes, right? And uh, <laughs> I only got in two. He said, well, here's one that has a few more seats left and the other one you can get on the waiting list for. Well, I didn't do it. I was not, I was disobedient. I didn't do it right then. Went to the library the next morning and guess what? The seats were full. Yep, the classes were over. So I got on the wait list on one and then on another wait list and another one. I was trying to look at the slots all, all the while I need to get in and get out before the kids get out of school. You know, you got to prioritize. So I'm asking for a lot. You know what I mean? And then they put this um, huge fee on there for like this non-residential fee, I guess, to keep people that really don't live in Las Vegas from registering and then, you know, sneaking in school, some sort of thing. Right. OK. So with all that being said, I have this huge bill. So I got to take that over there that I do live here and pay the uh, access fees. Like it was just a mess. You know what? And it really was the enemy trying to stop me. And that's what I'm getting to the point of telling you. The enemy is on the way. You have to know that he's on the way. He's gonna to try to stop you because you're trying to progress and do something. So come attack your body, attack your mind, attack everything. Don't let it work. Know who's in charge. Know who you put your trust and your faith in. And when I tell you, I can't even make this stuff up, y'all. <laughs> One day I was on my way to class, right? Hurry and drop the kids off, and then I get on the class, and traffic is horrific. I mean, I would have threw in the towel <laughs> at traffic, okay, for real. But I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, this is here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So do you know? Um, do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> another movie, another day. Okay, so we in traffic, 
And um, all of a sudden, I kid you not, the windshield wipers come on, the radio is uh, doing something weird, all the lights on the dash come on, and I'm just like, the uh, window won't roll up and everything, right? It was almost like a poltergeist. I kid you not, it was like way crazy. So I was like, what is going on, you know? Then I thought about it, and I was like, hmm, this might be like an electrical shortage. Like something's going on here, you know? Any other time I pull over, oh my God, what is going on? And then da, 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 da. he's like, I couldn't even go to class today because of that, da, 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 da. No, stop letting all of that work. Let me tell you, looking crazy with all that stuff flashing and going, I kept driving. God said, keep driving. I said, I don't care what's going on with this car. <laughs> I'm on my way to class. Yep, I'm, I'm about to get there. As soon as I get out of this traffic, believe it or not, I kid you not, an exit before I got off, it all stopped. It stopped. I rolled up the window. Window came up. Like, what was that? That was just the challenge. See, that was the challenge to knock me off my out of my boat. You know what I mean? You got to steady that boat. The boat going to wobble and the boat going to swish over, you know, and it's going to rock mighty hard some days, but you got to Steady that boat and ride them waves, baby. Because you know what? You're trying to get to the other side. You cannot get to the other side without some waves. So be aware. Be consciously aware that the waves are coming. Not might. Not they might come. Let me get ready. They coming. They on the way. Be ready for them waves. Because, baby, when they hit, it's going to try to knock you out the boat. But you got to steady it. You got to know who in charge, right? And who telling you what to do? Listen to your pilot, your co-pilot. Steady it and go on and get to the other side, okay? Computer problems was crazy, but guess what? At the end of the day, I found somebody really nice company that fixed my computer for a reasonable price, saved all my files, all my pictures, everything that I had on there and it's like a brand new computer it's beautiful they did wonderful work right my classes I was like oh my god I still need two more so I'm watching day and night day and night trying to type it in trying to type it in see if a spot open up see if a spot open up see if a spot open up right I see that I moved from number three to number two on one waiting list on the other waiting list I was able to drop it because guess what a class came up in the precise time that I needed it to and I was really restrictive I was restricted on what I needed, right? They called me with like a evening class and I'm like, no, you know, the way my family set up, that's not gonna work for me. And four hour lecture, I ain't doing nobody's four hour lectures. So uh, now I'm taking a risk because Friday opened up, right? I really can go a Friday morning. The kids are at school, but I was really trying, trying really hard to stay away from Fridays. Like I really need three days, you know, do this homework and, 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 and get back adjusted, right? So. It was a chance. God said, wait on me. I was like, whoo, the old me would have jumped in right on that Friday. But I was like, you know what? I'm waiting. You know, I'm co he coming through like he said he would do. Yeah. And yeah, he did. So sure enough, I got in um, on the class. What are the odds that it opened up for me? One seat available opened up in the exact time on Monday, Wednesdays that I needed it too. That's nobody but God jumped in, registered for that class. So now school has started and the first week, and baby, listen, that wasn't no joke, okay? I was on Advil the first two weeks of school. Every bone, body, and in my everything was hurting, okay? My ankles was hurting. Walking that campus on hard concrete in 115 degrees sun beaming on you. You know what I'm saying? But that was a challenge, okay? That was a challenge. That was a challenge. But that wasn't going to stop me either. That's just the waves. The waves coming, right? Ride them waves. I was like, whoa. Took me some Advil and rode the wave. Okay, so now I'm in three classes. I still got one to go, and I'm a week in school. I need that class. Another health class opened up, but it was <sighs> boring. I was like, I can't do no boring classes. Waiting on this health of sexuality class to open up. I moved to number one. I'm stuck at one, right? God said, go in there and ask her. Ask her. For the class, da 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 da, see if she can get in, right? I said, let me go. I'm going. I don't care what I said. I um, I'm going to this class, and I'm gonna see if she go. I'm staying, and you. <laughs> so I was like, I ain't going, right? I'm staying on this campus. I'm getting in that class. Do y'all know? I walked in the room. I told the teacher, I'm on. I'm number one on your waiting. Before I even said waiting list, she said, uh -uh, 
What's your name? I said, Libra Smith. She said, oh, you're in here. Have a seat. Just like that. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? She was like, have a seat. You Like, we've been waiting for you. You know what I mean? And um, it's plenty of room. The system hadn't updated, right? Sat down. I was in the class. She said, I'm going to send an email to, to my people and your people and this and that. And we're going to, you in the class, register, right? Bada bing, bada bang. Bam. Now, it did not come without worry and without obstacles and without a little bit of <laughs> nail biting stress, right? But remembering, right, who's in charge, that ceased. And I waited. I was patient. I didn't jump in and handle it myself. I could have did it myself, right? But I would be in a Friday class had I handled it myself. And I'd be going to school Monday through Friday. That's a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, being patient, being obedient, and waiting, he worked it all out for me. So, when you are climbing your ladder, <clears throat> you're going for your principal degree, and you got a new promotion here, and a new baby here and, and all of these things are happening right in your life remember faith remember to keep the faith who you serve and who's in charge don't let it I even though it's frazzled i'm telling y'all that what's your wiper all that stuff that was frazzling really do not excuse me allow it to um to break you don't allow that adversary staring you in the face when you know that it's on the way. Don't let the enemy play you with the same old tricks. You know what I mean? Let them tricks get old at some point and go on and do what you got to do. You got it? All right. Coffee sip. Mm-hmm. Mm. Every time you see the magic word, take a sip of your coffee or whatever else you drink. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Like I said, we have a lot of topics uh, this season that I will be discussing, and I am enjoying the ride. Please share your experiences of the enemy attacking you. People read them, you know, comment. I appreciate them. I read them, and I appreciate your feedback. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in on whatever social site you're tuning in on. And uh, until next time, guys, keep faith, stay naked.